Okay, so now I'm going to show you what software we need in order to install and run a Gatsby project on our system. So the first one is going to be Node.js. If you do not have it, go to Node.js.org and download the latest LTS version. If you do not know if you have it or not on your system, just open a command prompt. There you can type node-v and this will display the version of your installed Node.js. So we would also need to have npm installed and this comes with the Node.js installer. But if you want to make sure, uh, just type npm-v and this will display the version of your npm. The next thing that we need to have is git on our system. So go ahead and go to git-scm.com forward slash downloads and download the git for your operating system. If you're not sure again if you have it on or not on your system, open the command prompt and type git dash dash version and if you have uh, git installed on your system you're going to get a message like this so the next thing that we will need to have is uh, visual studio code and uh, if you do not have it go ahead in code.visualstudio.com and download that on your system Okay, so one uh, thing that we would need to have on our Visual Studio Code is Prettier, which is used by our Gatsby projects to format our uh, code. So if you do not have it, just open Visual Studio Code and go to your extensions here and search for Prettier. And after you find it, just install it. I already have it on my Visual Studio Code, so I'm not going to install it again. So this is basically it. Now we're ready to uh, install our uh, Gatsby on our machine. So just open a command prompt and type npm i-g for installing global packages and type Gatsby dash cli and hit enter now this might take a while so be patient now that we have our gatsby installed on our machine we're ready to create our first gatsby project so let's go to uh, our f drive and there we would want to create our first gatsby project so type gatsby new and the name of your project which is going to be hello gatsby okay run that and let it install everything on your system it might take a while as this is going to download a lot of packages and also run uh, npm install which is going to install your node modules Okay, now that we have installed our Gatsby project, this is the message you're going to receive here. And now what we would want to do is to go inside our uh, project directory. So type cd and type hello and tap, which is going to outcomplete your uh, folder directory. Now what you want to type is code space dot and this will open our Visual Studio Code with that project. So here we have our project with the SRC, the components, images, and the pages that we have on our uh, project sample here. Okay, so the last thing that we need to do in order to run our Gatsby project is to open a terminal in Visual Studio Code. Open a new terminal by clicking here. And inside our terminal, we want to type Gatsby develop and hit enter. And this will compile all the files uh, necessary for our project to run and run it on localhost 8000. So let's just wait for uh, this uh, to compile. And uh, when everything is compiled, you're going to see this message here. You can open localhost 8000 by control clicking this 
or you can just uh, copy it and paste it in your browser. And this is our first Gatsby project. So now let me show you how you can uh, change uh, the title for example. Just go ahead inside uh, gatsby-config.js file here and here you can find the title. So let's change that to let's say hello Gatsby. And as you can see we have changed the title of our Gatsby project. So this is it for this lecture. See you in the next one.